Welcome back, everyone. This is update for version 0.37. There's a bunch of things I've added here. I got a lot of feedback from some of you asking for more props. So here we are. Here, somebody asked for a pallet. So they could, you know, like build their own stages, maybe change the height of their props and stuff like that. Uh, I've also decided, I saw a video of a stage where a stage design where somebody actually uh, re had shooters start standing in a milk crate, which is pretty funny with the crazy social viral sensation of people trying to climb up uh, milk crates and falling down to hilarious effect. So there you go. If you want to do that, you can also change the colors of the crates if you want. I've also added corrugated metal parts so you can use these parts to build your buildings. So you could, you know, like build a building here. You could use um, build a gate here, you know. Um, somebody asked for this, so I actually put it in for them. The other feature is a ruler. Somebody asked for an actual on stage ruler where you can measure the distance from one prop to another. So you can do this by hitting F6 now. And then you can click on the spot where you want to start your measurement from and then you drag it and it will show you how far that is. So for instance, if you go two squares, it's actually uh, two meters. Uh, so each of these squares is actually one meter. And then so you can measure from a fault line to maybe steel, for instance, or uh, a prop to another prop. So very easy to do that. So the last big thing is finally I managed to get the stage central built uh, it took a long time there might be some issues here and there but if you encounter some issues please do let me know so stage central is essentially the community so if you go to the menu now you can see you can see the stage central central beta button if you click on that it opens up a search box basically that allows you to see all the stages that people have uploaded so in this case you can see i've uploaded five stages they are automatically sorted by downloads as you can see there's 15 downloads for this stage you can also vote up and down. So for instance, if I like this stage, I can click on that and I'll basically vote and give it one extra vote. So you can see from the information here, it gives you a quick view of what those stages are. For instance, W is a Comstock, Ipsic targets. It's a long course. There are 16 paper, zero steel, zero no shoots, 160 points, uh, number of hits per paper and round counts and so on and so on. Who's the author? And you can easily sort by this. So if I want to see a low round count stage, I can just sort by this and it shows me, oh, three per is a 45 round count stage. Or maybe I need an idea for my next match coming on Sunday. Uh, I want to see how many, I want to see long courses. So you can sort by number of round count, right? And then you can see, okay, so these are all the stages that the community has built. And it's very easy to submit a stage. You can just, cl just click here, submit the stage. Uh, obviously, you need a stage loaded up uh, in this case. So for instance, let me just quickly show you how to do it. So I'm just going to build a very simple stage, uh, maybe a uh, steel thing that activates a swinger, for instance, like that, right? And then I want to connect this, this. And then obviously before you upload, you need to give your stage a cool name. So maybe this is like a swing, 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 right? And I'll give this my name here. And then I hit save. And now if I go over to stage central, I can quickly upload this. And I show you one upload. This is a seven round course called Swing Swing. I say yes. And you wait for a while and you see now I've uploaded this. You also notice that there's a counter up here. Uh, currently I'm restricting each user to be able to upload a hundred stages. The reason is I haven't properly performance tested this yet. So there might be issues with you know having more people upload more than 100 each uh, and then you might cause the database to slow down i don't know yet so i'm in during the testing phase this is just going to be limited to 100. Uh, i might expand this later on in the future when uh, things are much better uh, or at least i can i can see how people are using it and you know what is the appropriate number here another cool feature is the search feature so by clicking here, it does a universal search across the entire state central community or state central's database of stages by name and author. If I want to look for a stage built by me, I can just type, you know, some letters and you will automatically sort this for me. Or if I want to look by a stage name, say, let's say somebody told me, hey, you should go and download this stage called W. So I just type DUB and you'll see it automatically sorts that uh, for me. And then once you've sorted it, and if I'm interested in downloading this, I can just click on get and say, do you want to download? Yes, and you'll replace existing design. So make sure you save your existing design or if you don't care about it, then just override it. And just click hit yes. And if you wait for a while, you'll load the stage and then there you go. 
So uh, it also comes with its own uh, stage briefing. Everything should be correct. If you view, you'll see uh, most of the stage uh, authors will probably build their own custom cameras so you can actually have a nice position, uh, optimum position as it was designed by the stage designer. Yeah, so this is uh, Stage Central. It's pretty cool. You can go in here, you can upload. Um, obviously, if I don't want to sort this, I can just delete all this. So I'm looking forward to see everybody's stages. Upload here, um, share your cool stage designs with the community. You know, give feedback whether you like or don't like a stage by using up and down votes. And give me more feedback too, if there are any problems that you encounter using Stage Central or certain improvements and features that you'd like to see as well. One last thing, Stage Central is still in beta. That means changes can happen. And if there are some major structural changes to the database or some corruption to the database were to happen, I would have to delete all of this and get rid of all uh, all the stages in the stage central. I don't want to wipe the database, but you know, if there are certain changes that need to be made that requires a database wipe, then I will have to do it. So please save your stages locally to your drive before you upload them to stage central. I look forward to seeing all your stages. Have a great time using the designer and see you on the range.